Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the shorter distance between two skew lines. Also, they have mentioned two equations, two line equation. Remember, these are two skew lines. What's mean by skew lines is these are the lines in a 3D plane, but they won't curve inside. Let's say if you imagine two lines in a plane, let's say this is a plane. If you imagine a two lines in a plane like this in a point it would go inside it will intersect at a point if you imagine these two lines it will intersect in this point if they are parallel it won't intersect but in 3d it won't be like that let's say there is a line in this plane and let's say i'm going to draw a line in this direction in this direction so as you can see here, the thing over here is it won't coincide at any point with this line. So this is not a parallel line for this. So we are going to call these two lines as skew lines. So skew lines are the lines in the 3D plane and they won't intersect at any point. So this is a simple definition for skew line. So hope you are already subscribed to our channel. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, if you like to watch any other videos regarding these vector questions, I have given the link in the description so you can always watch that. In this video, we are going to discuss about these two square lines and we need to find the shortest distance between them. As it's a 3D question, we need to think in 3D, it would be a little bit difficult than our previous question. So if you haven't watched them, please watch them before continuing this. Also, if you like to try this question in your own, please pause the video and try it in your own. After that, only compare your answer with the rest of the video. So here, as I say normally, we need to draw a diagram before starting this question. As we have already knew that there are two uh, skew lines. So I'm going to draw a plane like this. Let's say, so they are, I'm going to draw a plane like this. So here, there's a, I'm going to draw a line like this. So in this direction, so I'm considering there's a line, let's say this is the line. So there's a line in this direction. The next line is not in this plane. If there is the second line is also in this plane, it should be parallel to this. However, as we can directly say, it's not parallel, the directions vectors are different so we can say it's not parallel so it's going to be in the another plane so i'm going to draw like this so imagine this so which simply means it's going to go inside this plane so if i draw like this it's not intersecting imagine in three so over here i can note this point let's say i'm going to mark these points over here this is a point in this line and this is the direction vector of this line. If you have a lines equation, lines vector equation, you can directly tell this is a point. There is a point called 1, 1, 0 as k is 0. And the direction vector of this line would be 2 minus 1, 1. And there is a point called 1, 1, 0. So you need to mark this otherwise it would be a little bit difficult to continue so likewise we can also mark it over here there would be a point called 2 1 minus 1 i'm going to mark it like 2 1 1 not 2 i plus j minus k it would be a little bit difficult to mark in this paper so if i consider this one the direction vector of this line would be 3 minus 5 2. so the first problem is over we have drawn the diagram so the question is we need to find what would be the distance from this line so how are we find how are we going to find that and the problem is we need to find the shortest distance so the first thing we need to do is if we consider a line parallel to this which is coinciding with this line we can draw that line like this so i'm going to draw a line which is parallel to this and this is in the same plane 
so if i draw a line like this i can tell the direction vector of this line as these are parallel the direction vector would be same. so this is the steps you need to follow to find this so now i have drawn a line like this which is parallel to this so the next point is we need to find what would be the distance or what would be the direction vector from this plane which means the plane from this line and the above line we need to find what would be the direction vector perpendicular for this so if we use the cross product over here we will be getting the answer so i'll be getting like if i use for this side i'll be getting the n vector which is perpendicular to this which simply means it will give the perpendicular line for this plane don't confuse me just remember just try to think of in 3d this is in the plane and we are going to draw a same line say parallel line for this in the same plane but the thing here is it's not in the same plane it's about this plane so if i consider these two vectors and consider the cross product of them it will give the vector resultant vector which is normal to this plane so we can directly tell it's going to be normal to this plane so if i draw a plane like this let's say if there's a plane like this it's going to be 90 degrees let's say it's in this three. so now we have found this one but the question over here is we need to find what would be the distance from this point to this point so that's the question for that we need to know any points over here but actually we knew the point here this is 1 comma 1 comma 0 i have already taken a point also here also let's say this is a point of the point here so if i join this n vector it's going to be in this direction which is perpendicular to this plane and if i draw a line connecting from this to this it would be like this and this would be perpendicular as i already mentioned this line end line is perpendicular for this plane so if i draw a line like this it would be the shortest distance so how are we going to find this some might have the doubt how are we how are we getting like this the thing here is now we have drawn a line from this parallel vector which is parallel to this one so if i draw, draw a parallel line it's going to meet at this point however also we can tell there will be another point like this sometimes it might be in it won't be in the uh, linear direction it can be in this direction too but always it would be let's say sometimes it like might like this if there this is a point and this might be the point but always this would be 90 degree because we have found the n, uh, n vector which means normal vector to this using cross product so the thing over here is i have drawn because it looks very simple to imagine however it might like this because we don't know whether this point is over here or there if the point one one zero is here it would be like this and it so this is the thing so how are we going to find this value is this is not much difficult we have already done this in the last previous question too if this is 90 and actually we knew the value of this n vector the direction vector we can find it using the cross product between this direction and this direction vector so from that we can find this one after that actually we knew the point of this one and this one as i have already marked it like 2 1 
minus 1 and this would be 1 1 0 so this is similar to this so just try to imagine like this so I have already mentioned we need to find the this value why need to find this value some might have the doubt whether it's the shortest distance no if we find the value of this we can directly tell this value it would be the shortest distance I, I think I have marked this line just remember this is the shortest distance when it would be the shortest distance when this line coincides with this parallel line and if you draw the line between them this would be the shortest distance it's general you can it's a common sense you can always imagine that but over here we can direct we can't directly find this so that we are going to have we are going to take these two points over here and i'm going to draw the normal vector it's going to be normal to this one how uh, from that i can directly tell we need to find this one first from that we can find this one if we find this this it would be equal to this that this is a direction vector i'm drawing a little bit slight because to see properly in the 3d however when you are imagining you can directly find this would be the distance from these points so that our task is to find this point if we found this one we can directly find this distance using let's say this is a and this is b in the previous video also we have discussed about this if we use this minus n as i have mentioned the n vector would be directed in this direction if we draw a line if we consider the cross product from 2 minus 1 into 3 5, minus 5 2 it will show the direction in this direction uh, which means in this direction so if i'm considering about this direction i need to take if the final answer and i need to multiply by negative so i'll be getting in this side after that i need to find the unit vector of this unit vector for that we have already did that steps in the previous video so i'm not going to repeat it so after that we can directly say let's say this is the nth vector along this direction unit vector we can directly multiply b a vector with n vector this is the b a vector and if we directly multiply the using dot product we will be getting this side as a b into 1 into cos theta would be equals to b a vector into n unit vector so from this you can get the answer for this shortest distance it would we are finding over here however it would be equal to this line also as this is a parallel line these distances are same in all over the points so it might be a little bit difficult to think however if you take some time to think about it you can easily figure out this question hope this video would be useful for you if you have any doubts please comment it below thank you